Hello everyone, this is Spartan Assassin's here and today we will be looking at our uh, second faction preview for the Sun Clan which is Zhou Yu and he is the second person who is getting a new uh, faction mechanic but he himself will be gaining the faction unique units of Sun Qian as well as Sun Ce so you can see from Tiger Guard, MA Guard to Mercenaries, Archers, the Infantry and the Cavalry so these are all Sun Qian and Sun Ce units in which uh, so you will be getting in this patch which is 0 0.6 as well as your Mercenary outposts so if you notice, even if I were to go to Sun Fen, he doesn't have the Sun Ce uh, unique units but he does have the mercenary outpost as well. So uh, yeah. Another new thing that you'll be looking is the inheritance of Conqueror. So I'll go into the game and then I'll explain in detail how. But to be fair, I did play the campaign for a while like I stream in the discord and then have a look for some bugs I noticed one thing uh, similar between Zhou Yu and Liu Chang is uh, both of them are having the same types of like mechanic kinds of stuff but I'll talk uh, in detail when we are in game so let us just get started then Alright, so we are now back in game. Okay, so first of all, our starting position, we are basically a vessel of Sun Quan, and you have your uh, also the second vessel of Sun Quan, which is uh, Sun Pen. And we start off with Poyang Commandry, but you don't have the weapon craftsman so uh, you have to decide later on maybe when you actually have the time to trade your master go ahead take more younger uh, weapon craftsman it is always up to you you also have uh, Wu Jiang which is the fishing sword which gives you the <laughs> five food from the fishing port here. The issue is this is not actually easily defended as you might have noticed uh, Wang Tzu is here and he has a better stack now it's, it, it is not no longer a uh, what we call the two two unit starting starting stack like there's like two generals and each of them have two units there, so now you actually have a much larger form to force. So you might have to decide either you want to trade away the fishing port to Sun Quan, or if you actually want to defend, go ahead, nobody is going to stop you. Because this is a level 3, uh, yeah, this is a level 3 fishing port, while Su Pi is a level 4. Trade for which is actually quite nice. Actually, I actually prefer the Stupi uh, defenses because uh, I do remember that in one of my uh, in yesterday's stream, I gave uh, Wu Jiang the Xunyang to Sun Quan, but I do face some deficit in terms of food, and eventually I managed to survive through Stupi when want to like attrition all the way come to city just to get attrition and get defeated by Liao Hua and Xu Sheng and eventually I, I managed to destroy Huang Tzu as a faction and yeah this is your initial time. you are at war with Huang Tzu so always expect a Huang Tzu invasion in which actually this deck is a to help your current um, garrison to defend against Wang Tzu but you have to beware of uh, Kanin because if you are playing on Romance mode he still has Hail of Arrows which can shoot uh, 4 times so yeah 
beware of cunning, the rest of the time, no worries. As for character wise, you have your faction leader of Zhou Yu, and you have Ling Chao and Xu Sheng. Next up, you have your wife Xiao Xiao, you have Ling Chao's son, uh, Ling Chao's son, Ling Tong, as well as your uh, Wu Xia Ang, your Li Meng. So these are the six characters that you start with, and eventually you have to decide uh, who are you going to use for which uh, city, uh, which defense because. You are going to need a larger force, especially Zhou Yu's force. Zhou Yu's force needs to be a little bit bigger. I would suggest uh, either you use Ling Tong. And yeah, I think Ling Tong can just go in and then like, you can build a full stack of mercenary units. Uh, just save a few for maybe like what? Five turns. Just save the, your cash for five turns and spend the merc mercenary units then you'll be able to like sail down this uh, Yangtze river the Changjiang river and then from here invade Jiangxia and eventually reach uh, the farmland here and if, if let's say Lei Xu did not uh, survive then you are bordering Chaolun which is kind of like okay for you because you won't need to worry about Cao Cao keep spamming stacks against you if a, a, a war actually happens between both you and Cao Cao but if Lei Xi were to exist for example he got vassalized by Liu Biao in my yesterday's stream this is where things will go a little bit interesting because Lei Xi will be able to survive and build a level 4 city instead of a level 3. So if you were to take it, the city, you will face some uh, food deficit. So beware of uh, your choice of expansion. You start off without a proper food resource. This is your only food resource that you are gaining. The rest of the time you will be getting uh, commerce income, You'll be getting the this uh, industry income. The only peasantry income you can get is actually from Jiangxia and your Xinyang. So these three locations are very, uh, uh, I would say, important because if you lose either, if you lose all three of them, you'll be facing at least a negative uh, two. If you actually deal a lot of uh, build a lot of farms and stuff, you will get still at least negative two. I'm not sure, but yeah, once you destroy Huangzhou, you can decide uh, whether or not where you want to expand into Liu Biao or into Liu Bei. It is up to you. And the next thing that I want to show you after this is your uh, new faction mechanic, which is the expertise. We have one, two, three, four, five phase here. First of all, you have the paranoid, and then you have your next stage is uh, they didn't like here. Yeah, it, it is not written yet. This is a uh, sadly a unfinished bug, but no worries. Uh, you will definitely get much more better buffs, and the only way to gain expertise is actually to win battle so make sure that you are always at war you're always winning and always make sure that your enemy loses just so that you can get at least 40 at the maximum for the uh, expertise so make sure you always focus on that and lastly I want to talk is about what I want to talk is about your intelligence of conqueror now this is what I say why it feels like when you're playing it so you are just playing like Liu Chang. Uh, because if you notice from the UI, Aspiration and Inheritance. Aspiration is Liu Chang's faction mechanic. Inheritance is Liu Yan's faction mechanic. So currently I have proposed of a possible like making 
the faction air position to be someone of a second in charge like a bandit so that we don't have to always put a family member we can put someone like Liam or maybe Trisham or Lin Lin Hong Lin Hao anyone and from there we can we can choose if we were to go for inheritance maybe so you can retire as Grand Commandant like the star to do it and then if let's say your person who you want to be the next star to do will be Liam then he will be taking over as the star to do uh, so you can clearly see that these are all selectable UIs and each of them provide a different bonus I personally prefer this 75% uh, income from all sources it helps boost your local commentary yeah so always uh, focus on what you want to use if you, will, you want to play more on an uh, Archer based style, you can go for this. Uh, of course, you get a 25% charge bonus, okay, but you have a 50% increase in the ammunition. And you can also, I don't, I won't suggest you to go for private tutelage. It is not a good skill unless you actually want to upgrade someone, level up someone fast. Uh, supply tampering, this is a uh, Oh, yeah, nobody is going to do this, man. Nobody is going to do this supply, supply tampering. Yeah. I'm not sure if it, when you use it, it will apply to the targeted, because you are here, stating here targeting your own army. Is it like you are minus 15 military supplies local county? Is this for your enemy or something? This I'm not sure. But hopefully it is for enemy because who would be stupid enough to just like temper your own supplies and stuff and military range, uh, movement range. Next up you have your recruitment poster. This is one thing that I actually like. Uh, it actually helps you like let's say if you face a food deficit and you are, uh, you just got a period victory. This is actually quite good. It helps you replenish faster. Pillaging is not my I don't like to use uh, this. I never actually wanted to use at all. Improved garrison, yes, this is actually nice, but I don't see any of the what we call effects because I was on a negative back then, so I keep getting rebellions after rebellions. So it's free EXP, but at the same time quite uh, difficult to handle. And lastly, you have your recruitment. This is also good you will get 35% campaign movement rate increase as well as a 10% replenishment rate for foreign land so if you are somewhere in, in the north or in Liu land or maybe if Liu Pei became a vassal of Sun Quan you, and you march through you can't get any replenishment of course you can use that so this is basically uh, so with faction mechanic so you gain expertise via battle and you use your expertise via the uh, inheritance of conqueror. So, so you have to decide uh, what are you planning to do as Zhou Yu. Of course the main the first thing first that you you have to do or oh, there's no mission here. The first thing that you have to do is destroy Wang Zhu. You are you have to destroy him because he's going to come after you eventually in the first few turns and if you do it quick enough i can guarantee you in the first 10 turn wangs will be dead and in the first 20 turn liu biao will be at war with you definitely because wang Su is a vessel of liu biao so if wang Su did not die within the first five turns you know first 10 turns then he will ask Liu Biao to join your war, to join the war against you. And if Liu Biao join the war, you have to prepare your Zhou Yi stack, run all the way down south, take out Changsha, and eventually try to have peace, which is actually one of the better options because if you get Changsha, you actually get a key resource. 
you actually get the tea resort tea house as well as your armor craftsman which is actually quite good you can always get armors and then you can like trade it for a few cash or food it depends on you so i don't need to talk about the unique units i've already told you that he is going to get all the sun Jian and sun Se faction unique units so yeah uh, the court wise there's nothing much of a change then basically no change at all so that is actually all for Zhou Yu and hopefully I'll be able to start a Sun Pen faction preview maybe tomorrow and yeah since there's nothing more to talk about Zhou Yu then I'll definitely see you in the next video and thank you for spending your time watching this preview Thank you very much and goodbye.